Hey, what's going on? It's Max Chroma with a quick tip tutorial video. In this video, I'm just going to show how to make a transparency or alpha channel from the luminosity or grayscale selection of any image or layer in Adobe Photoshop. Now, as a prerequisite, I'm going to have two panels open to work with. So the window layers panel right here and window channels panel right there. And also you want to be sure in your color settings. So edit color settings. If you have a grayscale dot gain profile set here and spot channel profile, this can affect the selection. I want to make sure I grab exactly the uh, grayscale range with no changes. And so I'm going to have an S gray profile set to that as well as on the spot color one. I'm going to actually have to load that and go right to where I've got this. And I'm going to put these in the end of the video. I'll show you how I've got some links for these test files, the S gray profile on my creative cloud. So I'll give you those links in the description, but you want to make sure those are set before doing this. It can affect the selection or how the mask appears. So based on those prerequisites, if I'm working with a neutral gray image, uh, if there's color in it, it's really just going to take the grayscale or luminosity of the image colors and on a flattened image. So just one layer, this will work as the easiest method. So the simplest way is literally to just hold control, select the RGB channel. And if it's all neutral, it could be any of the red, green or blue channels. They're all the same with that color profile set. And all I'm going to do is just create a new solid color. And that has now taken the transparency and put it as a mask, its own channel over that solid color fill. If I turn off the background layer, you'll see now that I've got a transparency. Let's put in a solid black with no selection. And you can see, oops, you can see that basically this is the same exact grayscale data as the original. Okay. That's because I set the S gray profile. So looking at this, I can really do anything I want. I could go ahead and make a new uh, hue saturation or other types of adjustment layers with that mask. So I could create a levels control layer and use that mask, hold alt to copy that mask over. Or if I've got the selection of the mask. So anytime you control and select a channel, it's going to give you the transparency selection. One of the things to keep in mind is let's say that there is no gray over a, below a certain level, like 50%. Sometimes Photoshop will give this warning and it says actually it has to be the other way around. Let me go ahead to levels and lower this down. I believe it's, if it's everything is darker than 50%. I hit control select. It says warning, no pixels are more than 50% selected. The selection edges will not be visible. It's still got a selection. There is still stuff in there being selected. It's just not showing it with the little marching ants marquee. There still is a selection after doing that. If I go ahead and do new solid color set to white, you'll see that I have actually gotten myself that selection. If I go and, cr and put the black color behind it, I have the exact same data as was there. So it's still giving you a selection. It's just warning you that you can't see the selection. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at one more technique on how to do this. If you've got multiple layers, like I already have a bunch of layers in here now. Um, I'm just going to undo to where I've got the original value here. Let's say I've got another layer and it is got color in it. Let me just put some red over this. And merge those together. Let's say I got a bunch of layers in my document and I want to get just the one, let's say, so this red one's on top. I don't want that. There's other types of layers and I want the transparency to be made from just one of these layers. I'm going to, I guess the quickest method or the one that's easiest to learn is to just be on that layer. Control a to select all control C to copy it. And then I'm going to be in my channels and I'm going to make a new channel that's now showing only that channel control V to paste everything into that channel. 
And now that I've got a channel by itself with the information from the layer, I can just control select that channel. And that's giving me that transparency selection again. So it doesn't look like it's got all of the values. Essentially the selection cuts off at the 50% level, but it does select everything as the luminosity or the grayscale of that channel is now something I can fill into a new layer. So you don't have to go to make a new solid color. I can essentially just go in to my layers panel and make a new layer and I could shift F5 to fill or edit fill. And I want to fill with white first. And that's given me the exact selection as the grayscale of it. You can really do anything you want with that selection, but that's the exact transparency from the grayscale. Again, if I put a solid color behind that, you see nothing has changed from that layer that I selected. Um, one other technique, which is, I guess, a little bit more difficult to know how to do, if you got all these different layers in here, and let's say I have a name on this one, layer to get mask from, so I can be sure which one I'm getting. I can go ahead and go to image and calculations. And this is where things get a little more complicated. So I didn't want to show this first. I wanted to show the easiest method to the harder methods. I'm going to have the source one. Okay. This all the source is always going to be the same document I'm on, but you can go from one document to another. But basically I can choose the layer layer to get mask from channel. I'm going to say gray and then source is the same document because I'm on the same document and the layer uh, so really I don't need a source to I guess I'm just gonna use the same one so layer to get mask from we'll say gray and the, the in calculations you can do a new selection or a new channel I'm gonna do a new selection and no blending so just normal blending and I'm gonna actually tell it to be a mask and we're going to do the same image layer. We'll do layer to get mask from channel gray, hit OK. And it's basically made the selection from that layer, which I can go ahead and let's say I'm on this layer. I could do layer, layer mask, uh, reveal selection, or I could basically just create that new solid color fill layer in white and we've gotten the selection that way it should be the same as long as there's black behind it it should be the same as that layer okay but that image calculations is a little difficult to learn exactly how these things all should be set to get that i'm not sure if you can do it through just apply image apply image is a little easier than calculations let me just go ahead and look at that let's say i got all these different layers on and we've got the layer to get mask from that's labeled. So I'm just going to do image apply image. So you only have a source to work with the original document layer layer to get mask from. It's going to be the RGB channel of that. And the target is the original image or the targets actually the layer that I'm on. I can say mask. We'll keep this here. Actually, it'll be the uh, merged gray. I don't think this is going to work. I, I tested this before. No, because only in calculations can you tell it to give you the result as being a selection. OK, but I think calculations is a little more difficult to do. I think it's easier if you do have multiple layers in the document just to go to the layer you want. Control A to select all Control C to copy you can go ahead and either go to the top of your document, paste that in. So you're viewing that layer. You don't want to go and do like the uh, show and hide all other layers. You can be changing your whole document around to do that. So I would suggest just making a new channel, control V to paste it in. And then you could also just control select. And as long as you've got that selection, you can also just do edit copy and then go into your layers make a new layer, paste it in. Okay. That has pasted in the white pixels on that layer as the selection. And 
Actually, no, you see that kind of copies the grayscale from that. See how it's kind of got gray in it if I go ahead and turn this on. So I don't think the copy is the right way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to copy stuff using the selection. It'll copy it from that channel. You'd have to basically copy it from a solid white layer. So yeah, I think the best method really is to just make a new solid fill after you have that selection done. Okay, so I'm on a layer here. Control A, Control C to copy. Go to your channels, make a new channel. Control V to paste. Control select the channel. And then go back to layers and let's just make a new solid white. And that gives us the mask exactly in the grayscale from the original. So that's it. I didn't want to get into too much other stuff, go off on a tangent, just show the easiest method when you have a flattened document, what to do when you have multiple layers, and that you can do this through calculations, but that's sort of a whole other uh, thing to get into teaching about how calculations work and all the possibilities there with blending modes, etc. And the other thing was like I showed the prerequisites to just make sure you've got an S gray profile. And I will put in the description of this video, the links here to download this grayscale test image in 8-bit, has all the values from 0 to 255. And this S gray color profile you can download. Um, both of these can be downloaded. And I'll put the links in the description of the video. You can also get this test image. A lot of the images that I work with in my videos are royalty free. They are from Pixabay and I can go ahead and put this in. It says crediting isn't required, but linking back is greatly appreciated and allows image authors to gain exposure. So this guy has a lot of nice images on Pixabay of portraits. So what I will do, you could just download it for free and use it however you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this stuff and say the image by this guy from Pixabay in the description of this video. That's it for this one, and I will see you guys in another tutorial video.